This is the Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. We are on day three of our series entitled The Fall, and we're going through Genesis chapter three. This is the first sin as it's being committed, you know, committed blow by blow, just you know, reviewing Adam and Eve and how the serpent confronts them. And today's episode is The Fall specifically the temptation, the temptation. I mean, the devil's going to lay something out there. Let's just go into the scriptures here. Genesis chapter 3, verses 4 to 5. And, and this is Satan laying it on. Like, why should I do this? You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis chapter 3, verses 4 to 5. So here Satan makes his pitch. You know, he, he, he's doubting and, you know, God. And you know, what, what did he say? Now here's where Satan puts his piece in and says, hey, this, you know, he, hogwash, whatever God said is, you know, that, that's, that's, you know, that, that, that's rubbish. You know, here's really what's, he's holding something back from you, don't you know? And what he's holding back is if you eat this, you're going to become like him. You're going to be God-like. You know, and sin never makes sense when we think about it. You know, here God, the problem is we don't think about it. And that's the implication I'm making in this message is, you know, God created this paradise, literally a paradise. And there was but one rule to not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And they, you know, Adam would have, you know, experienced, you know, Eve being created out of his, his body, you know, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. So God clearly was superior. I mean, he made everything, and Adam was part of this. He was naming the animals that God, his creator, created for him to, you know, to, 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 to look after, to care for, and again, to name. I mean, the intimate knowledge of, you know, in, the intimate task of naming them. But here Satan says, no, 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 you know, being, you know, the created isn't enough. If you eat from this tree, if you eat this fruit, you're going to become like God. And the parallels on this, you know, from then until now, wow, you know, I want to make myself like the most high. That's exactly what Satan did. Satan was cast out of heaven. You know, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning and, and up the, you know, a third of the angels with him cast out of heaven. So here's Satan, you're making that pitch. And that pitch, you know, we've heard the story, you know, dozens of times, but that pitch comes in our life every day, doesn't it? Satan makes a pitch in our own lives. You know, why not try this? It's going to be satisfying. And we know here through the Holy Spirit that's not going to be, but yet we bite on it, don't we? We bite on it just like, and that's the part that's coming. Satan made his pitch then. He's going to make his pitch now. We need to stand in Jesus to resist him. In your name, Father. Amen.